Hello, everybody. I hope you're doing really good. I am so excited um, to have been given the opportunity to attend um, our Creative Memories, Creative Minds Conference is our first national convention. I was telling you last week, it was so fun. Um, if you're an advisor out there and you missed it, don't miss it next time. It was such a special time um, to be in person with everybody and learned um, so much. So um, for those of you, by the way, you girls that are watching me that came to that convention, you made my weekend. I really thought I was famous <laughs> because so many of you wanted to take your picture with me. And that made me feel so special. And then I came home and in the airports, no one asked me, you know, to take a picture. <laughs> it was back to reality, but but I had my moment in the spotlight. So um, thank you for um, being so kind um, with your remarks. So today I have a, a great tip for you, a border tip. I'm going to use the three-in-one beveled punch. This is an old tool. You probably already have it. And um, this is a new, newer tool the double fan chain, actually, let me show it like this, the double fan chain, relatively new. Um, so you may not have this one, and I really like this, and I haven't done much with it at all. I woke up this morning with a little bit of inspiration, thank you, God, <laughs> because I've been so busy, and um, so I have this one border idea, but it's super pretty. So anyways, um, and then I'm also going to incorporate some of our um, sans serif letters. These are the smaller letters that we have, and they're so cost effective because there's so many letters and vowels and stuff. Even my dog, Gracie, is super excited about it. And um, you all know, Gracie had surgery and her bark is not quite as loud as usual, but it's coming back. Yay. Um, so that's really good. All right. So we're going to go ahead and get started. So let me change my screen. Thank you again. I appreciate you for watching and hopefully she'll calm down. Actually, I'm not sure what she's barking about. All right. So what? give me a second. What? Give me a what? What? Sit up here with Hokey. Sit with Hokey. It's the beauty of live technology. I can't do anything about them. All right. So what we are going to want to do. Um, just so you know, the three-in-one beveled punch does lots of things. It's called three-in-one because it does three different size borders. And you can remember what size because right on the top, let me see if I can get this to um, screen for you. It has the different measurement possibilities. Um, so this says one inch, two inch, or two and a half inch. So what I did, just to make sure you understand, I cut a one inch strip and a two inch strip. And in my border, I'm using a two and a half. So you're going to see all the options. And they have these little trays down here. Again, I'm having trouble with my lighting, but you can't goof it up. Like if you cut indeed the one inch, like it said here, if you put the one inch strip in the little tray, there's a little spot for it to fit. You just kind of um, push it back and then punch. And then you have this beautiful little um, beveled um, tip there. And um, it's great for making banners and borders and even tags um, at convention, all of my teammates um, that came to convention alongside me. I gave them a little goodie bag and I made a little gift tag. Um, so anyway, so, so this is um, a look. Works really super cool in combination with others. So this one is the next size. So let's take a look at that. So I'm doing that. I'm going to do that. And then I've got um, a thicker border for, a, a, you know, whatever. And again, like I said, you can layer them together to get really cool looks. All right. Or um, like I did for the, um, the gals at convention, I actually cut a flat edge. There's a tag. And I tied these onto little gift bags. So it's really great um, for those of you girls that are in other direct sales companies that if you give little gift bags to people or if you um, have a little birthday party coming up or if you're just a gifty kind of girl um, and you like to uh, make um uh, little fancy gift bags when you give gifts. This is a super one to have on hand. So I wanted to point that one out in case you don't have it. All right, so let's get to the border of today though. Um, for the border of today, you are gonna want the biggest measurement, the two and a half. All right, and again, you can't see them well, but they're written up there. The bigger measurement, 
is two and a half inches. So I am going to just cut myself on my piece of paper. This paper that I'm working with again today is the Super Duper Girl. Very feminine, very pretty. All right, so that gives me my two and a half inch strip. Then what I'm going to do is use my border maker system. So you do need both your uh, this component and your um, your double fan chain actually in this contraption here. If you've never used it before, there's this little tray that you want to open up on the bottom. It's a measurement piece only. Um, I'm going to put my piece of paper in the tray and then I am going to go ahead and do this border. Now, typically when you do a border, you start at the very bottom and go all the way up. We're not going to do that today. What we're going to do, there's little notches here, girls, one or girls and guys all the way down. We're not going to do the first or the last notch. We're going to do everything in between. All right. So there's a notch. I'm going to put my border maker in. There's a notch here that matches with it visually. If you can't feel that, like I can feel it popping in pull out slightly and you know sometimes we drag across sometimes we pull out and back in I gently pull out a little and back in to avoid tangles on this one okay so that gives me that now what I'm going to do is pull that piece out open back up my tray put this back in because we're going to do it again on the other side the exact same thing all right, be very careful this time. It's not gripping with a lot, but there is enough there. All right, again, we're not doing the first notch. We're not doing the last notch. We're going to do everything in between. So I'm going to lift this a little bit, get that in. Remember, be very gentle, pull it out a little bit, pull it back in, pull it out a little bit, go back in until you do all of the notches except for the first and the last. Now what I want you to do, and don't do it until this point, there's um, this little, uh, this little, this little piece here and here that I don't necessarily want. You can keep it if you want. It's not ugly, um, but I find they're not necessarily all the way even. Um, and so I don't want it there. I'm going to pull it away. Um, but don't pull it away until you've cut your border, because I believe it may be giving us a little bit of anchor um, in the ruler part to keep it from sliding. So let's just leave it in there. All right. So that takes care of that. And then we have this look. The next thing I want you to do is use your smallest circle from your circle and oval cutting system with your mat and your green blade. We're going to cut some circles, um, depending on how big you want your title to be. Um, I have, my, my title is going to say girl time. So I needed eight circles. So um, I'm using the smallest with the green blade on the inside to do these circles. All right, so that did it. If you don't have this system, it is great, girls. Um, you need this one. Um, I saw somebody cutting out circles with pie plates one day. I'm like, oh, my goodness, <laughs> because this is such a time saver. All right. So now what I'm going to do is show you how perfectly this size works with our ABCs. Um, we have ABCs in black, brown, and white. Um and let's see, I want an E. So this is the perfect size with this circle. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to show you um, how cute this actually want to do one more thing. So here's my little circles. I'm going to put them on with my repositionable tape. Uh, why? Because if I goof on something that's fragile like this, once I start, you know, these are all disconnected. So they're kind of fragile. And whenever you're working with fragile stuff, um, you cricket girls, you really need a repositionable tape. Um, and that way, if you stick something down and you goof or decide you want to put it somewhere else, it'll come up very easily and won't rip all your paper away.
Oh boy. It feels like Monday to me because I just got back from convention, so I did a little ho-hum there. <laughs> All right. Oh, and I forgot the last thing that I wanted to do. And again, you want to do this part last with your beveled tag. Um, you want to go ahead because if you cut it first, it's not going to, it's going to be trickier to, to do this cut. So it fits perfectly in there because I cut it at, up at the two and a half inch. However, once I keep pushing and I'm going to need to keep pushing, this um, outside part has wiggle room because it is no longer that, that length. So what I recommend that you do is kind of make sure it's centered in the space here before you mash. But don't cut it. I mean, I, I already tried this the other way where I cut it first. And then I feel like it's a little tricker, trickier in your border, um, in your border maker system. OK, so that's what I wanted. All right. All right. And then what you can also do is put a little some pretties um, through here. So, for instance, let me grab something for you. I'm just cutting a really thin a quarter inch strip here. And then I'm going to grab my scissors and just snip some pieces off of it. Then what I'm going to do, I want the white to show so that it'll show up. So I'm going to go like this. I'm going to, so I folded it kind of like at an angle. And then I'm going to kind of twist it underneath because I want the white to show, not the pink. So it'll be more prominent. And then I'm going to put some adhesive on the back. Mm -hmm. Somebody is calling me. That's why you're hearing that noise. But I don't want to answer right now. So sorry, I will get to you later. It's never a dull moment here, girls. <laughs> so here we go. Go ahead and get rid of my special friend that just called. I'll get back with her though. All right. And then you can put it down on your card sock. I'm going to put this on black because I really want this to pop. You can kind of twist these around some. And then what I'm also going to do because it's going to be in the way anyway, it's just kind of snip off the pieces that are overhanging. All right. So there's my time. And here's my girl. Is that super cute? So anyways, um, I hope that you will like this one. You can, you know, put more circles on there if your titles are a little bit bigger. Um, but the, this is a great size to still keep your border pretty. All right. Um, one last thing I want to show you super crazy fast because at convention, they always give us free stuff. And this time we got the new collection that just released uh, yesterday, actually. Um, it's called Serene Waters. And it is really pretty, um, super pretty colors. So I just wanted to give you a better look at how super pretty this was. Can't you see the, these colors with your stuff? So it's got some little fish on it. But this just came out, they came out as a bundle so that everything that you possibly could need is in it for like $136. So you got two paper packs, look how pretty. Isn't that beautiful? And then we've got stickers. We've got embellishments. I even had a chance to do a quick page spread while I was at convention. They give us some time to do some make and takes there. If you um, want some girl time, you should be an advisor. We have some great fun together. Um, so just reach out to me or, or whoever um, you found out about Creative Memories Fun and join our, our, our family. But isn't that pretty? I love the little, um, the little fish. So cute. All right. So I'm going to change my screen so you can see me again so I can say goodbye. Thank you for watching and you all have an incredible week. Oh, and by the way, um, if you place a hundred dollar order or more, you can try our, um, our photo prints. Um, we have really, really pretty photos. They have not only the date on the back, 
but the time down to the second. Um, so they're great prints and you're going to get 50 of them for free with a hundred dollar order. So um, load your carts with those um, before you place your orders and um, then you can get some free stuff. All right. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, and that bundle that I was telling you about for $136 also comes with three free items. Bargain. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.